What's going on, everybody? Eric Lindquist at Osmo.com coming to you with my three, well, actually, it's going to be four MLB picks for the prize pick streets today. Uh, we've been running really, really hot since we started these videos. I'm going to try to keep the good juju going. Uh, you can help me out by hitting the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell. If this is your first time here at the Odd Shopper channel, welcome. We are here to help you make money in all of your sports betting needs, especially if you have a site uh, like Prize Picks in these non-legalized states. Uh, we have an opportunity to help you make a lot of money in the prop game, regardless of where you are. Use promo code Osmo to get $100 first match deposit bonus signing up over at Prize Picks Plus. You'll get one free month of Osmo Plus Platinum just by signing up and playing. And let me tell you, it's a great site. I'm having a ton of fun over here. We're going to try to keep these winning ways going. So let's just get right to it here. My first play here for the day, I am looking at Eric Lauer. And generally, Eric Lauer has been really, really good throughout this entire season. Let me actually find him here. There we go. Found it. 34 and a half is his number. But I am going to be looking at shorting that number here today in Chicago. Let me just count the ways here that Eric Lauer has been good so far this season. He's got a 2.31 ERA, a 1.001 whip. But overall, uh, everything you could possibly look at for Eric Lauer seems to be roses. However, there are two major glaring things about this game that just stick out to me. Uh, one of them is the, the K rate we've had so far for Lauer, and the other is the game environment. Let's start with Lauer and his K percentage here. Over the course of his career, he's just a 22.3% uh, strikeout artist. And in 2021, his best mark, he was up to 23.9% serviceable. But this season, he's climbed all the way to 29.4%, which I'm just not sold as sustainable. And secondly, that game environment, it's another wind-blowing out spot here at Wrigley Field, which means extreme fly ball pitcher Eric Lauer with his over 18-degree average launch angle could be in a lot of trouble, especially considering we saw all of this happen yesterday uh, to a lot of pitchers throughout the game, even guys with much better fly ball rates. He's still giving up above-average hard hit numbers, so I'm not sure about the strikeout stuff, and I'm not sure about uh, whether the, the game environment is going to be as effective as it was yesterday. But those are two pretty big reasons to be shorting Eric Lauer. Give me the under of 34 and a half fantasy points for him. That's the first piece of our card. Secondly, I'm going to the strikeouts category. And if we work our way down here, I see Blake Snell. I'm going to be taking another under here. Blake Snell, two starts. We saw him get up to 104 pitches last time out. So he stretched out. I have no concerns after 84 pitches of his first start, that he can go the distance here. But uh, Blake Snell has not been the Blake Snell of old since joining the Padre. no, Padres. Nobody's going to question that whatsoever. He still has a 31.7% strikeout rate through his two their strikeout rate through his two outings this season. So strikeouts can maybe be had from time to time, in if it's the right matchup. But this matchup against St. Louis is an absolute disaster for any and all lefties this season. Not only do the Cardinals boast a 137 WRC plus against the handedness, but they strike out at just a 17.9% clip from that side. That is third best at avoiding strikeouts in baseball versus southpaws. That makes five and a half strikeouts a little bit too high for me. I see it on Odd Shopper. We're projecting him just south of that five number. I think there's a little bit of a buffer. That's an expected win percentage around 67% on the under of five and a half. So two-thirds of the time, you're looking at hitting the under, uh, according to Odd Shopper in this spot. I'm going to trust those numbers. Give me the under of five and a half here for Blake Snell. And hey, guys, if you ca caught the video yesterday, I brought you some winners. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Hang on. Let me find it. Here we go. Where's hitter fantasy score? There it is. Found it. I'm working our way all the way to the nightcap again, to the bottom of the board and you might know where I'm going with this if you saw the video yesterday. Yes, Brian Hayes, Brian Reynolds, give me the over of five fantasy points once again for these two guys. And let me tell you, it was beautiful seeing Brian Hayes put up 15 fan duel points yesterday. Brian Reynolds uh, hit a home run, 18.7. That's how many you get for doing that. Even against Walker Bueller, I found these numbers to just be egregiously low. We projected them north of eight fantasy points, and we do again today in this spot. And it's a large range of outcome type sport here. Baseball, you can definitely put up a zero, especially against Julio Urias here in this spot, one of the more serviceable pitchers in baseball. But I look at this as, as Brian Reynolds and, and Brian Hayes are the only two serviceable hitters on this entire roster. 
And that just makes me want to land on them because they're basically being clumped in with every other Pittsburgh pirate in this lineup. I don't know what uh, Marcano could be long-term. I don't know what Sawinski could be long-term, but I don't think they're going to be all that good. All I know is we have a long sample size of Brian Reynolds, even though he just has a 422 expected slugging this year. And Cabrian Hayes up to 497 expected slugging. That's a really nice number here for the young uh, hot corner guy. I feel as though five is just too low of a number. There's so many outs to be getting there. And yeah, yesterday against Walker Buehler, did I expect 15 and 18.7 from them? No. One home run gets you there, obviously. Five, you're basically getting a split with a hit and a run. You're getting a walk uh, and, and a hit. You know, there's a lot of paths. A double hits you the over on either of these numbers. So five is just a low, low number in a spot where it's decent enough. It's warm weather out here in LA where I live. And I think that these are just two batters that are going underrepresented with five fantasy scores. I mean, look at Ramon Laureano. I, I really don't have any faith or confidence in him at this given time. So five and a half for him. I will just take these five fantasy, fantasy uh, scores for Cabrian Hayes, for Brian Reynolds, and run to the bank. So let's recap this. It's right there on the beautiful side of your screen here as I'm pointing at it. Eric Lauer, we want the under of 34 and a half for the projected fantasy pitcher score. Blake Snell, under five and a half strikeouts for him. And Cabrian Hayes and Brian Reynolds, yeah, two for one special. We're just going right back to back to the well on these two guys. Uh, continue to smash them batting second and third in this Pittsburgh offense. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of my picks here for today. I'm going to try to keep the good juju going. You can do that as well by signing up over at Prize Picks, joining me with this one. I'm going to be flex playing uh, a lot of these different combinations, trying to go three of four or four of four minimum. I think uh, power plays generally how I like to play them, but when you're playing a correlated thing like this, I, I think power play, you probably want to play more Cabrian Hayes and Brian Reynolds together. So take advantage of that in the power play more so than a flex, even if I'm going to be flexing a lot of these plays in conjunction with other picks. But let me know if there's anything else you guys like on the prize picks board today. Use that promo code OSMO, $100 first match deposit bonus. I'm Eric Lindquist. Best of luck. Let's keep it going.